Hello my beautiful Virgos, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller Divine Light and today we're going to do a coffee cup reading for the next four weeks and this is going to be a financial reading. If you would like a private reading from me, I'm going to put a link up here. You can just click on that one or in the description box you can see my Etsy shop. Also, only 30% of you have been subscribed. So if you're enjoying these videos, subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. But it helps the channel a lot and I truly appreciate that if you can. Okay. Also, I'm going to pull some cards at the end. However, this actually... I didn't really pay attention to this before, but now I'm seeing here somebody's actually sitting on a path here to this new beautiful castle. And the path is clear, you can see, but you need to pursue it. So if you are actually starting something new, maybe a new job, maybe initially you don't like the environment, but the truth is you're trying to get to the castle and the path has to be walked, okay? Um, because like today I was listening to Bashar Daryl Anka again, and he says, because we're living in a physical reality, we must take some action. And this action doesn't have to be related to things that we're doing. It has to be related to the passion that we have because the language of creation is passion. Okay, so... I think this is kind of like a channeled message for you here. I hope this resonates. I see a person here with very angry eyebrows and wearing a cloak. Cloak can be an official job, okay? Can be someone working for the government, lawyer, doctor, engineer, maybe a judge. If you're going through like a legal issue, maybe expecting something to come from a legality. That is actually showing up here. Uh, either way, though, if even though this person has this like uh the eyebrows in an angry way standing, he is eliminated. So this indicates that this person is going to be working on your behalf. Maybe they're going to be really angry about what happened to you. I see a, a darkness in your heart. This actually kind of feels like maybe this issue is bothering you, giving to the hardship, giving uh, like help causing you to give in to the situation which is actually going to help you open up three different paths to you and it's going to help you to create the desired the desired outcome to come okay if you're feeling of giving up giving in is the way because that's how it's going to be delivered to you i see two houses here one of them has an i on there and there's an um letter e can be in someone's first name or the last name, maybe in your household. And this E also looks like a turtle. So this can be like a new house that you're moving into. And there is a person standing here. Maybe there is a person that needs, needed to be helping you just standing on your way. Or maybe their help is not really working out the way you want it to be. But uh, the second week, it seems like, this is the first week, the second week, it seems like there are three different paths are going to be opening for you. Three different opportunities coming in. And I see here a magician coming through. Magician energy is, I think it's um, um, Gemini and Virgo again, your energy. What happens with the magician? You can be the magician as well with the magic wand. The magic wand may be the tool that you need in order to manifest the things that you're desiring to create the life you want. So this can be um, like a person that you're creating for yourself, a situation that you're creating for yourself. And um, the magic wand indicates the tools that you have in your hands. Okay. The tools can be your words, your phone, your connections, the place that you are in. So these tools will be, when you use them, are very, you know, you're going to be using them. That's for sure. You're flying with the magic wand. You're using them and creating these three different options of paths for you. Okay. And this is happening right away. Within the third week, I see a massive fish here falling into your lap. You're catching in. You're setting up the trap basically and catching that. And the fourth week, there is an older gentleman sitting here. He's sitting on a throne. He's looking at a mirror. So this can be someone actually, mirror uh, reminds me of someone that probably looks like you or maybe like a bloodline you have. Like if you're waiting for inheritance to settle or something like that, this person is sitting on this chunk of money. So maybe he's going to actually come to his senses and he's not going to wait uh, too long maybe you're expecting someone to give something to you this doesn't have to be inheritance i interpret it that way but this can be also like a conflict that you have regarding financials and that's going to be also resolving it seems to me here 
I see you're sitting, extending, open up your arms towards the wind, and there's a person in front of you. Maybe this can be a moment of a fragile, uh, like a vulnerability that you're showing, or maybe a moment of power that you're showing your strength and power to someone who needs to see. Under you, there's a V. So um, with that, you're going to actually accomplish this victory, okay? This can be finding your perfect job perfect space for yourself or even maybe like a perfect living quarters um that's going to be also coming through let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire an intention hold it in your mind let's see what the answer is whatever it is it's coming really fast and it looks like a lot of financial security you can see it's just a thick line so this indicates that i see here in your heart space you have some sort of like a confusion but there's a number eight visible number eight it actually symbolizes material satisfaction so even though you don't feel like the things are moving they are moving in the darkness i see an angel here you can see this angel might have letter s in their name or j john sam um, and they're gonna be coming through they're gonna you're gonna receive some sort of help so the angel is not gonna come down from an from the earth he's an earth he or she is an earth angel janet maybe so keep an eye uh, with the connections that you're forming okay this can be like new friendship opportunities also coming through to support you financially maybe you're setting up setting up a new business you have a new idea or starting somewhere new uh, if the help comes through if a person is coming through and helping you take that okay and i feel like this is something independent because this is you something that you're growing there's a burning heart here this is your heart's desire okay maybe something that you have been planning for a long time and now the angel have now i see it i don't know if they have it before a uh, trunk here trunk of an elephant so this person who's going to show up can be like uh, someone very wealthy, has generational wealth, and they might be also giving you the financial stability and the security that you're needing to maybe manifest your heart's desire. We have the death card. This came through with Taurus energy, and it is actually letting you know that uh, some things that do not work out for you, the death of establishment, whatever the broken establishment that you have in your life, that is coming to an end. This can be financially, okay? Maybe broken establishment can be your way of saving money. If you are maybe... Because saving money doesn't really grow the money, but it creates the feeling of abundance, okay? So maybe you are spending everything that is coming into your pocket and then just trying to save whatever is left out of it. But what's happening is saving beforehand, as soon as it comes in, putting something on the side actually helps you to um, manage resources wisely okay uh, this is an example coming to my mind it doesn't have to be this this can also be your relationships maybe you are giving freely to the people you know that they're not going to pay you back maybe that's another habit that you have and that is coming to an end okay and uh, we have when you actually complete that mission complete that cycle and close it up ace of wands coming through a new idea this is this looks like a cotton ball to me cotton plant here which is actually another source of abundance and wealth. When you look at the past history, like during the beginning of the 1920s, uh, the cotton actually made a lot of people rich. So we can actually take it that way. This is your cotton. This is your new investment. This is the creative energy coming through and will be creating something amazing in your life. We have here the sun card, the sun, Leo energy, fire energy, something definitely a new beginning is coming for you. Uh, you're going to have support, maybe even the Leo might come through. And you need to make a decision again, a decision moment. And we have the strength card, two of swords. And um, you might be at the crossroads after you step into your new adventure, but the support will come. Choose whatever is actually giving you strength. We have the strength card again, another Leo energy, but on the background, this one has a wolf. 
wolf is a spirit animal uh, symbolizes families okay you don't have to have like a literal bloodline family it can be a family of people that are very familiar with your soul okay when you are in a crossroad and decision making required it's good to actually select the family select the loyalty that you're feeling towards you because this is going to be actually supporting you in financial way as well okay all right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.